Right, for our next community conversation today, we are joined by Andy Pillifont, the Director of Communications at the Paramount Theater. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, so much going on at the Paramount. Uh, thank, thank goodness you're here to kind of wrap things up and okay. let us know what's going on. That's right. Um, We've yeah. got a Dylan coming. We have a Dylan coming. We have Jacob Dylan coming with The Wallflowers. This is a show uh, that we just announced last week. He'll, he will be here with his band at the end of April on the 30th. Um, they have a new album, well, new for them, came out in 2021, a new, an album called Exit Wounds. Um, which is a very good record. It's charting well. Um, great band. They haven't had an album out nine years prior to that uh, and have only just recently kind of ramped up the tour again. So uh, we're excited for this one. A lot of folks are excited for this one. Um, you know, if you watched a lot of VH1 in the 90s, say, uh, yeah. <laughs> you're very familiar with the Wallflowers. Put on a good show, just, yeah. like, just like his dad would. That's right. <laughs> Um, and of course, a classic movie. We'll move things, jump things ahead a little bit just to next month that folks can look forward to. So on the 24th, we'll have our annual screening of The Big Lebowski. Um, to call this a classic, a cult classic, just a great movie. It's 25 years old now, if you can believe that. Uh, Coen Brothers, Jeff Daniels, Steve Buscemi, John Goodman. Flea is even in it from the Red Hot <laughs> Chili Peppers, Amy Mann. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, uh, you know, a lot of people love this movie, and rightly so. That starts at 8.30. The costume contest will start at 8. So please feel free to, to dress up in your most dudish attire <laughs> and abide by the costume contest. As you have today, right? Always. Yeah. Um, we'll move things to the more immediate, and this week some uh, great celebrations coming on, including a celebration of uh, Martin Luther King. That's right, yeah, so we've got a lot going on this week, starting with um, this event on Thursday. This comes to us from the UVA, uh, UVA Office of DEI, and they'll have uh, Dr. Yabo Blay. Um, she's a very sought after public speaker, scholar, activist. Um, she, I think, will make a great uh, keynote uh, event for, for UVA and DEI. This is a totally free event, um, so we definitely encourage people to register early to secure their seat. Um, and it should be fantastic. This is a, a, a good get for them, I think, and we're honored to have this one. And a busy weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Yes, so, okay, let's see. We've got, on Saturday, we've got uh, Portrait of the Queen, that's at 2 p.m., um, and this is kind of a deep dive into some of her official portraiture. Um, so they'll be speaking in the film, in this documentary, uh, with some of the photographers that, that took pictures of the Queen. And when you take a picture of the Queen, you're really kind of capturing the monarchy in that moment. Uh, and so they'll, they'll, they'll talk about that. That's, and this is uh, only in cinemas. So that's kind of unique uh, to this particular uh, documentary of the Queen. So that's in the afternoon at two. And then in the evening, we'll have Brooks running and the prolific run crew will be uh, in the house to uh, show their documentary, Who is a Runner? Um, this will be a combination of all four of the shorts to kind of make up the series, along with a panel to talk about running, talk about uh, marginalized communities, um, and in this case, how they come together uh, under a united cause. And after a couple of serious topics Saturday, kind of wrap up the weekend with a laugh or two. Tom Papa, um, I'm really excited for this one too. Uh, he's got a Netflix special that just came out at the end of 2022, which I have not watched it's yet. It's tremendous. It's good, you'd it's, recommend? It's very good. Okay, well, I'm gonna wait and see him live first and then come to that. Um, Tom Papa has been at it for 20 years. He's hilarious. He's uh, on NPR a fair amount. He makes bread. He does the <laughs> podcast circuit. He makes movies with Rob Zombie. He's an interesting guy. It should be a lot of fun. That's 7.30 on Sunday night. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. You bet. Casey.